Hey guys, what is up? It is Alex here, and I'm proud to announce that this is the first episode of my career walkthrough for F1 2012. Now, we won't be showing you the full bit of qualifying and the full bit of the race, but I thought for this first episode, I'd do a sort of highlight show of all the best bits of the race and qualifying. And this was my fastest lap, and this was my first ever time doing qualifying in the race. And I didn't think I was actually doing too badly, and then I actually saw the time at the end, and I was a bit let down because I already was really far off the pace and not really mixing it up sort of around the sort of the level I really wanted to but then again this is a new game I will it will take practice to get up there with some of the other guys like my teammate and the Force Indias the Williams it will take time to get up there on their level now lots of people are saying that they've won in Torosso and all that sort of stuff but that's not the that's not the aim for me my aim is to sort of challenge with my teammate because on this legend difficulty it's uh, it's quite a lot harder than 2011's and it sort of shows a lot more in this because I find it a lot harder because you can see just through sector 2 on 1.3 seconds down on Hulkenberg. Now, this wasn't actually my best lap. I did have a couple of other laps where I was actually doing quite well in the first and second sector, but I actually failed them really, really badly and crashed at this corner right here. And I come a cropper in this corner later on in the race, where you'll see that in the race coming up in a second. But you can see here, really not an amazing lap. I thought it was a pretty clean lap, but really it was nowhere near as fast as I wanted it to be. I was using Curs and DRS in the right places, kind of forgot to use all the Curs, but really a sort of a decent lap in the way that I didn't go off the road in that, but 20th position isn't really what I wanted going into that session. I kind of wanted to get into Q2, but sadly I couldn't. But yeah, let's move on to the race here. So here we go in 20th position in the Toro Rosso and we are going to try and get a good start off the line behind Kovalainen, and Petrov and Peak before we get to sort of the runners which are similar paced cars to us and everybody gets a decent start except me which is a bit annoying and then going into turn one I see a little bit of a gap I go for it but I don't want to hit anybody so I just keep it to the inside Kovalainen's still there but Senna's dropping back so I've got Senna I think nope Senna's still there and I want you to look ahead as I know this isn't live look at the front of the screen right now look at that huge amount of carnage everywhere wing flying in the air there's bits of car Body, body parts flying everywhere somebody crashed into the back of me they're all driving like two miles an hour Perez is slowing down I'm gonna have to go around him or on I suppose I got him off the track Hulkenberg's still slow then I get onto the grass sliding it get ahead of Schumacher Schumacher hasn't got a front wing absolutely crazy first lap there or first couple of corners even and absolutely amazed that there's a huge pile up just in the first couple of corners of the race so now that we've escaped the first corner carnage, we need to keep into a rhythm and get into a rhythm and sort of go around the track normally and make sure I don't crash into people. And I've got the driving line on for the corners, but I don't know why the car just really, really wasn't that good. I don't think I had a very good setup on, and I don't really know why. I should have maybe tweaked it a little bit, but I only tried one setup and it didn't really seem to go very well. And I'll probably fiddle around with it a little bit more for the next race in Malaysia and hope for a better result at the end of that. But there we go, Senna going down the outside. I'm leaving him space, but he goes onto the grass and rejoins and still loses the position back to me. And as you can see here, I'm starting on the prime tyres. I thought this was going to be a good strategy, but it really turned out to be a pretty bad strategy. And whatever I did really in this race I just had didn't have the pace I could not keep up with anybody and it was just really annoying because look Senna's just miles faster in a straight line I was like what is happening what have I done wrong with this car the setup is pretty horrible <laughs> and yeah so I was just really struggling to hold everybody behind me throughout this race I did have some lucky bits where they sort of crashed and had a mistake but these cars like Mazda which are really really far out of position they ended up catching me in these really weird places where they really couldn't overtake and they were trapped behind my car for a lot longer than I really wanted but here we go we're running on to that corner once again I get that corner wrong every single time I don't know why I think it might be the car just doesn't have as much grip as some of the others and downforce and I think you're going to see in a minute if not it might just skip to a little next bit, <laughs> but uh, I think Massey gets past me very soon after this. He he's very very fast compared to me in this car, and I was a lot slower than Ricardo. I was about a second a lap slower than Ricardo. I don't know what happened with me in this race. I'm I wasn't I'm not very good at this track to start off with. And then if you throw me in this car, which I haven't driven before, and you know me as an inexperienced driver, you sort of come to this point where. I'm not going to be very fast whatsoever and I kind of annoyed that I wasn't really fast because it means this video probably isn't going to be that entertaining but I do get into some crazy battles like here where Senna dives it up the inside 
I think it was Hulkenberg going down the outside, but I still maintain the position, and Hulkenberg gets sideways coming out of that corner after touching the grass, and I don't know whether I ran him out of room or not, but I definitely got the position back, which was the good thing for me. Now some quick things that I've noticed through at F1 2012 so far is that the car seems to be a lot more twitchy like in real life and it seems that obviously the car like the Toro Rosso really has no grip whatsoever in these circumstances where you're going through fast corners and I've driven some of the faster cars and they seem to have a lot more grip through these corners so it's definitely cool that they've added that sort of extra bit of sort of realism to the game where the cars are faster through Pacific corners and obviously the the Toro Rosso doesn't really have much downforce and obviously it's top end speed supposed to be quite good but the way I've set it up or set it up means that it isn't very good in a straight line either so I've overall got a pretty bad car but yeah I've noticed that the cars feel a little bit more twitchy and a bit more realistic and also the tyres is the thing that I've noticed quite a lot when you go offline onto the marbles your car really vibrates and it sort of throws you offline and out of sort of position really when you hit those sort of marbles that's what I'm trying to say and that's a lot more realistic because you've seen it in real life I think it was this year at China where Raikkonen got into the marbles and lost so much grip and just slid off the track that's what happens in that's what happens in this game when you get into those marbles it really sort of ruins that corner for you and obviously that sort of lap whilst you've got the marbles on your tyres now here we go Senna's going to have a huge run with DRS I sort of swipe across him a little bit yep I'll agree that I'll agree to that even and I still defend them I defend them off through these couple of corners and then we see ahead Maldonado comes out of the pit so they're all starting to pit their AI are pitting now Maldonado is one of the first to pit as well as a couple of others ahead you can see there on the mini map but Force India of Hulkenberg still can't get past me I feel that I drove a pretty defensive race until the end of the race where my tyres just went off completely because I pitted a little bit early but um, let's move on here going into the pit stop in 10th position Maldonado is still the car ahead of us and Massa actually fell behind us through the pit stops I was so slow that Massa only just came up behind me whilst the pit stops were out like he did his pit stop a lap before me and I only just came out in front of him so here we go into the pit stop the Torosso crew not doing a hugely fast pit stop a 5.2 or so second 5.1 second pit stop isn't too bad and rejoining in about 14th position I think it is but when we get to the end of the pit lane the other cars are right behind us which really means it's going to be a hard race to the end because you can see here quite a few cars are catching up and have the opportunity to overtake me by the end so now we're on to the option tyres they should be a little bit faster but if I'm honest I really didn't see much of a difference through them and the prime tyres the orange tyres seem to the orange tyres the yellow tyres which I don't know how I don't know what you call them options I guess and then the prime and the, um, they seem to be not really that much different to the prime to me and you can see here diving around the outside of Hulkenberg just don't have the space Hulkenberg came out just behind me after the pit stop Hulkenberg leaving a tiny bit of space for me on the exit of that corner I'm going around the outside at the final turn never seen an overtake there in real life and obviously it's a game so you probably wouldn't really see it in real life because it's not 100% realism but I felt really amazed that I actually kept that move around the outside because I didn't think I was going to stick to that and the car had a bit of grip when I actually needed it to and that was good to see so now we move on a couple of laps you can see I've lost the positions the tyres are going off towards the end of this and Ricardo's now got past me and now I've got a little bit of DRS and cursed use into turn one am I going to have enough speed to get Ricardo but look at the DRS absolutely flying down into turn one dive around the outside hit the apex I thought that was one of the best moves that I've ever done on any F1 game or any racing game really. I thought I did that perfectly and I know I'm picking myself up a little bit there but I really really liked that move. It was really fun to race as well. And you can see here going on to the last lap in a second here and we're ahead of Ricardo still. And we're going through this corner losing the tyres. The tyres have totally gone off. Front wing completely damaged and falls off. And then we're getting back onto the track and I admit I do sort of hit Pev drop into the wall. And it's just because I had no front wing, the steering angle and the car lock was so bad I couldn't even get back onto the racing line. And it was really, really annoying that I took out Petrov. I didn't want to do that to end the race. I was driving a pretty alright race, holding off Ricardo, and then that went and happened, which kind of ruined it for me. I didn't really like the way that this race ended. But as you can see here, having to come into the pits, and actually we're going to get lapped by the end of the race I think this is Grosjean coming across the line any second now to win the race Roman Grosjean wins the first race of the season in Australia and puts him 25 points on the board and for me finish 19th 
on the racetrack and I didn't get any penalties even though I think I personally should have for taking out petrol so yeah guys that is pretty much it hope you all enjoyed it maybe leave some comments down in the comment section of what you think of F1 2012 so far as you can see I've got a little bit of an achievement for that and yeah Lewis Hamilton crashed out the race and so did petrol and yeah apart from that wasn't really a very good race for me didn't have the pace and yeah guys that's pretty much it remember to subscribe if you haven't already that would be awesome but guys hope you all have a wonderful day it's been Alex and I'm out of here Bye.